Mr. Vase, welcome. I'm very happy to be able to ask you some questions about your lecture, Where Do We Go After Death? If the soul survives the death of the physical body, where does it go? Is there a somewhere to go? In the opinion of materialists, that is people who think that only matter exists and that in order to be able to believe in something, one has to be able to see it. There is no such thing as the beyond or another world where we could go as the spirit being invisible doesn't exist. But this is only one way of seeing things. There's another approach, the spiritualist approach. According to it, a human being is an immaterial spirit that is a soul incarnated in a physical body. At death, the soul moves out of the body and goes in the other world, also called the beyond, because it's beyond the capacity of perception of our five senses. Are there proofs of the existence of the beyond? Yes, there are different proofs. Just before dying, that is in the hours or days before the actual death, the dying person can see more or less the beyond and people who live there. Sometimes what he sees is so clear that he can even describe what he sees and also communicate with souls which appear to him. Of course, as the soul of the dying person is moving out of his body, he is not seeing the beyond with his physical eyes, but with the eyes of his souls. According to people who accompany dying people during their last hours, this vision of the beyond is not an exception, but rather the rule, which testifies of the existence of the beyond. Another proof of the beyond is given by the near-death experiences, NDE for short. Nowadays, with the reanimation techniques we have, many people who have died have been brought back to life. And these people have said that when they were dead, in fact, they were not dead, they went on existing, they could see things around them, they could move about, they met people, they talked with different people. They also said that after having gone through a long dark tunnel, they reach a wonderful region which with uh, different uh, brooks, hills and flowers, which looked similar to what we have on Earth, but for sure was not the Earth, as everything had a different quality, was much more colorful, bright, intense. Moreover, they said that they, when they reached this region, they were welcomed by parents or friends who had already died, and who came to help them in this transitional stage of their existence. Here we've got two proofs. First, the testimony of all these people that they were in a place which looked like the Earth, but for sure was not the Earth. And a second proof, the fact that all these people had died, so they were not on the Earth anymore, they were somewhere else, they were in the beyond. Is the beyond the place where all the deceased go? Yes, it is the place where all the souls go, but they don't go all in the same place. The beyond is composed of different planes, which are superimposed, the lightest and finest at the top, and the densest and heaviest at the bottom. And the souls, when they move out of the physical body at death, are distributed in these planes according to their own lightness or heaviness. How do we know that? All through history, souls in the beyond have contacted Earth man with the help of medium. A medium is a person who is very sensitive to the influences of the beyond and who can receive information from the souls living there. And among other things, these souls have talked about the different planes which form the beyond. But another proof is given by the near-death experiences. In addition to the classical NDE we've talked about, 
There are two other NDE, the ultimate NDE and the infernal NDE. In the ultimate NDE, the soul, after having reached this wonderful region where he is welcomed by deceased parents, moves up in a higher plane which is much more beautiful and harmonious, testifying therefore of the existence at least of a second plane in the beyond. In the infernal NDE, the soul, after having reached this wonderful place, goes down in a low, dark and unpleasant plane where he meets people who are unwelcome and uh, unkind, which testifies yet again of the existence of another plane in the beyond. Does the Bible in any way uh, confirm the existence of the beyond? Yes, it does. For example, Jesus told the story of the beggar Lazarus, a poor man who lived at the entrance of the house of a rich man who doesn't give him much to, to eat. Both men die at a short interval and find themselves in the beyond. The rich man in a dark, low and unpleasant plain and Lazarus in a high, agreeable, pleasant and beautiful plain. And the rich man sees Lazarus up there and calls out, is it possible for Lazarus to bring me something to drink? I'm suffering down here, it's so warm and I'm so thirsty. And he's answered that it is not possible because there is a great gulf which is set between these planes so that one cannot pass easily from one place to the other. This story ascribed to Jesus testify of the existence of the beyond and the existence of different planes in the beyond. Has the beyond anything to do with the paradise? No, it doesn't. And it is significant that in all the report, testimony or stories about the beyond, it is never claimed that the spirit of man comes from the beyond. It is always said that its origin is in a plane which is above the beyond. This plane is the spiritual plane, also called a paradise. So, to summarize, creation is made of three planes. The plane of gross matter, where we are now. The plane of the beyond, which is of ethereal matter and divided in sub-planes. And above the beyond, the paradise, the spiritual plane, the plane of origin of the spirit. So where do we go after death? Is there even a place where we could go? Yes, there is. Firstly, the soul moves out of the physical body and goes in the beyond and goes on experiencing in order to develop its faculties. The more it develops its faculties, the higher the plane where it goes. When it has developed all its faculties and knows how to use them harmoniously, then it can go out of the beyond and penetrate in the spiritual plane, the paradise, its plane of origin. So, is there a place where we can go after death? Yes, there are all the different subplanes of the beyond and finally the spiritual plane. Thank you very much. That was really very interesting. <laughs>